Hey guys, Echo25. And Archer9234. With episode 97 of Ranger Review, today we have the Power Ranger Samurai, the Black Box, and Spin Sword version 2. Alright, so now we finally see the Black Box, aka the Inomaru from Samurai Sensei Shinkenger. Now, it's just the box that they used, and it includes the buckle, which you actually can put them on, you can put this onto your waist and it actually holds a disc. And we include two discs, the combining disc. And when they transform into the Super Rangers. So mainly much what you do is that you have the on-off switch here. You open it up and you put any of the disc in. Close it. It rotates between four different sound effects. You can also put this in. Sound effects are identical, it doesn't matter which disc goes in. Same four different sound effects. Um, you actually can put other discs and it'll still make the same sound effects, like the one from the spin sword. Same exact one. You really also don't have to close it, you can actually look at it like this. The gimmick is that besides playing the sound effects, it actually make, like opens the disc like once. When you push the button, it spins at this like one little corner at a time. So the butt blow that's included, all you do is just you put the, you put the disc in, close it up, and you actually put it on your belt or whatnot. Unfortunately, so, it only stores two uh, discs. All right, so now we have the spin sword version two. Now this is actually the same exact one as the first wave of the spin sword that we reviewed. The only difference is that they change the box to this kind of box, and it makes sounds. You spin it. It, they, re, they use all the sound effects that were from the Shinkamaru. So the trigger effect is that there's a small little tab on the inside of it. What you do is that when you spin it, the little hinges on it here, when you spin it, it makes the noise. Now, the original one didn't have that. All you did was spin it and there was no sound. And you can actually, you know, see it move on the mirror. It's still, you still show it on the mirror, of course. But it slows down faster. That's Unfortunately, it. even though they finally added the sound effects back into the spin sword, they still didn't include the a little LED light. Overall, the second wave is actually better if if you actually wanted the sounds or you didn't get it. So now we have the spin sword with the black box. I personally never liked this because, again, the Inomaru splash black box is on the outside, but the blade is facing the other direction. Also, it makes it a little more heavier now because the sword, even though the sword was heavy already, which is light, with the black box, it actually makes the weight look more down. And it looks weird anyway. Um, when you turn it on, no sound effect changes. The exact same thing. It doesn't change any sound effects whatsoever. There's no changes in the sound effects. All it is is that you just attach it to it, and that was it. It what it really doesn't do much after that. To actually take off the the black box, there's a small little circle tab. You got to press it, and it releases. Now also the black box can actually combine with the Mega Blade. Now like the show, what you have to do is that there's a little tap here, and there's a, tap, there's a green tap here. What you do is just stick it in, and that's and it. It locks in place. That's it, it really doesn't do much of that. And when you press it, it's the same exact sound effects. There's no difference to anything at all. Now to take this off, you gotta instead, instead of push, pushing the one over here on the side, you have to push the top, and it releases. That's the only difference to it. In the show, when they did it, Jay didn't just push it on the top, but you can't really do it because if you do, it's gonna fall. There's no actual lock, so it doesn't actually fall what the show does, actually. So you can do it like this, but you gotta be careful, it might fall. But that's the only like closest way you can do actually do it to the show. So all tuition wise for the black box to the Inamaru. It is smaller, a lot smaller. smaller. And uh, 
what we then they took out the LED light that was in here. It was supposed to be a green light that every time you put the disc in, it would change colors. And also, it would also tell you what disc it was in. Because originally, in the, the Intermodal can actually uh, operate and read all 40 plus discs because it has special tabs in the back of each one. Each right? disc had a special tab, so when you push it in, it'll say Super Disc, Combining Disc, or whatever. Kajiki Disc, yeah. Origami Disc. The, the black box also, you actually can just push it without the disc and make the sound effects. Also, we took out the chrome. This whole thing was chrome, and we didn't have this kind of like... The gimmick where it spins the disc. The ours, we actually added it by just spinning it, but overall, the sounds are almost the same. We did keep the disc though. The stickers on both of the super disc and the combining disc are exactly the same. This has the rainbow one, which is to combine to make the Claw Armor Megazord, and this is when they combine into the super modes. On the Inomaro, the power switch and the locking switch were both clear plastic. All the American versions is just simply silver plastic. On the black box, they added gold edging on both sides and changed the position of the speaker. On the Inomaro, it was on top, but now it's on the back of the disc. The Inomaro has side guards, but the black box doesn't. The original colors for the hidden disc were black. However, the black box morpher changed them to red and gold. And lastly, the Mega Blades connector was added to the back. Now also the belt buckle, it only the only good part about ours is that it hold it held two discs compared well, to the Well the Japanese original one. one was it only held one. The US buckle also reduced the size of the US flap, causing issues when you're trying to open it. Another other alterations is that um, it originally came with belt straps, so you can actually strap it around yourself. And, and it was course, also chromed. Shinken Gold was silver instead of gold, unlike the original five. <laughs> Black box is a nice little feature if you want the complete, you know, feature with the spin sword yeah, and the mega but blade. Overall, I would say it's decent. I mean, kids might like it because it looks cool, but in my opinion, it's decent. The Inamaro is better because Inamaro, it reads all the discs. It reads, it reads the discs, but you're not gonna find Inamaro because it's getting more expensive. But in a parent's perspective, I would say get this for your kid if they actually have the mega blade or the spin sword because it actually combines with it and, actually, and the kids will have a good, you know, role playing time with it. But as a collector, I would say if I have the money, I would get the Inamaro because you can read the disc. If you guys want this for a cheap price, try going to your local Targets because Targets actually have clearances on all the Samurai uh, weapons, the role playing ones. So the Spin Sword, the Black Box, and the Hydro Ball are actually cheaper than you can get them at the Toys R Us or Walmart. That's it for our review of the Black Box. Join us next week for the Power Rangers Turbo, Lightning Cruiser, and Mountain Blaster. Rate, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next week. Now, also, the black box uses the watch batteries, or button batteries, you call them. But yeah, that's it for the review. <laughs>